Imagine scoring a 520 on the MCAT. You're ecstatic. That's the fucking 97th percentile. You can already see yourself walking across the stage at Harvard Medical School, graciously accepting your degree before sailing forth into a prestigious and lucrative career. But then reality hits. You check the median MCAT scores for top medical schools and your heart sinks. Your hard-earned 520 might not even be competitive at these top-ranked schools. Dr. Jubal, MedSchoolInsiders.com The brutal truth? At the 10 most elite medical schools in the US, a 520 MCAT score, a score that puts you ahead of 97% of all test takers, still leaves you just below the median. And not only that, three points below the median for the number one school on our list. Can you guess which school has a median matriculant MCAT of 523? You may be thinking Harvard or Stanford, but you'd be way off. The school with the highest median MCAT is guaranteed to surprise you. But before we dive into our countdown, let's talk about why MCAT scores carry so much weight at these elite institutions. Unlike schools focused on serving underserved communities, which often place greater emphasis on mission alignment and life experience, these top-tier research powerhouses use MCAT scores as an initial filter. They can afford to be incredibly selective because they receive thousands of applications from the country's highest achieving students. Remember, these median scores represent the middle of the pack, which means half the students scored even higher than these already astronomical numbers. At some of these schools, students with 524s and 525s are commonplace despite the fact that these scores are achieved by fewer than 1% of all test takers. But here's the thing, while your MCAT score needs to be exceptional to even get your foot in the door at these schools, it's still just one piece of the puzzle. Every year, the AAMC publishes official data showing applicants who scored a 525 on the MCAT and earned a 4.0 GPA who still did not get into medical school because the rest of their application wasn't strong enough. Strong applicants must also show breadth and depth across extracurriculars, gain stellar letters of recommendation, and clearly articulate why they're the perfect fit for a school's mission. So what are the most difficult medical schools to get into? Keep in mind that this ranking is based purely on MCAT medians. There are many factors that make a medical school competitive, and what's challenging for one applicant might be a piece of cake for another based on their unique background, experiences, and strengths. There are 10 schools on this list, but many of them share the same median MCAT score, so they're broken down into three clusters of first, second, and third. We'll begin with third place, which is a tie between four prestigious medical schools. Second place holds five schools, but only one claims the top spot with the most intimidating MCAT median score in the country. In third place is Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis with a median MCAT score of 521. A 521 puts you in the 97th percentile, meaning you scored better than 97 out of 100 test takers. Located in St. Louis, Missouri, WashU is renowned for its research excellence and consistently ranks among the top medical schools in the nation. The school is particularly strong in biomedical research, with many students going on to competitive residencies and academic careers. Also in third place, with a median MCAT of 521, is the Northwestern Feinberg School of Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Feinberg is known for its innovative curriculum and strong emphasis on early clinical exposure. The school's location in Chicago provides students with access to diverse patient populations and world-class medical institutions. Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine in Baltimore, Maryland also ties for third with a median MCAT of 521. Hopkins needs no introduction. It's synonymous with medical excellence and groundbreaking research. The school has produced more Nobel Prize winners in medicine than any other institution. If you're dreaming of a career in academic medicine or research, Hopkins is the gold standard. Harvard Medical School in Boston, Massachusetts ties for third with a median MCAT score of 521. Harvard is integrated with multiple teaching hospitals, including Massachusetts General and Brigham and Women's Hospital. Students benefit from access to some of the world's most advanced medical facilities and research labs. Now we move on to our next cluster, five schools that all share the same exceptionally high median MCAT score of 522. The Mayo Clinic Alix School of Medicine in Rochester, Minnesota has a median MCAT score of 522. Mayo Clinic's medical school benefits from being integrated with one of the world's most prestigious healthcare systems. 
Students learn from physicians who treat incredibly complex cases and conduct cutting-edge research. The Mayo name carries enormous weight in the medical community. To put Mayo Clinic's 522 score in perspective, it's essential to note that this is a 99th percentile score. That means if you scored a 522, you performed better than 99% of all MCAT test takers. According to the AAMC, more than 85,000 students take the MCAT each year. A 99th percentile score means that only about 850 students nationwide achieve a score of 522 or higher annually. You don't achieve a score like this based solely on smarts or even hard work. It's a combination of strategy and precise planning. We compiled the learnings of dozens of insiders who scored in the 99th percentile to create an ultimate MCAT study plan that provides a comprehensive study schedule based on where you plan to take the MCAT, as well as strategies to ensure you stay on track. It's completely free and available in the video description. Also in second place with a median MCAT of 522 is Vanderbilt University School of Medicine in Nashville, Tennessee. Vanderbilt combines Southern charm with world-class medical education. The school is known for its collaborative environment and strong support system for students. Plus, Nashville's growing biotech scene and Vanderbilt's research prowess make it an attractive destination for future physician scientists. Yale School of Medicine in New Haven, Connecticut has a median MCAT of 522. Yale operates unlike any other medical school in the country. It's one of only a handful of U.S. medical schools with true pass-fail grading. No honors, high pass, or internal rankings for both preclinical years and core clerkships. There's no AOA Medical Honor Society, no shelf exams, and even anatomy class attendance is optional. Students take just four anatomy tests total and foundational science exams only every eight weeks, creating an unusually low-stress, non-competitive environment. This unique structure allows students unprecedented flexibility to pursue other interests. About 50% of Yale medical students take advantage of the flex year, an additional tuition-free year between their third and fourth year for research, joint degrees, or clinical work. Students can audit classes across Yale's other schools, from management to law to arts and sciences, and participate in interdisciplinary programs like the Solomon Center for Health Law and Policy. The University of Pennsylvania's Perelman School of Medicine in Philadelphia also ties with a median MCAT of 522. UPenn's medical school holds the distinction of being the first ever medical school in the U.S. founded in 1765 and of being home to the first hospital built by a medical school. It's renowned for its robust clinical training and extensive research opportunities. The school's location in Philadelphia provides access to diverse patient populations and multiple teaching hospitals. And our last second place school at 522 is Columbia University Vagilis College of Physicians and Surgeons in New York City. Columbia's location in Manhattan provides unparalleled clinical exposure and networking opportunities. Columbia was the first medical school to meet 100% of demonstrated financial need with scholarships for qualifying students. The move to offer such significant debt relief is a major contributor to this institution's competitiveness, and though it has been a competitive school for many years, Years, this has no doubt made it even more desirable to applicants. And finally, claiming the number one spot with the highest median MCAT score of 523 is the NYU Grossman School of Medicine in New York City. The school offers world-class faculty, cutting-edge research facilities, and access to NYU Langone Health, one of the nation's premier academic medical centers. NYU's accelerated three-year MD program attracts top students who want to fast-track their medical careers. That said, while NYU was a strong program, it did not lead the pack in terms of applicant statistics. What skyrocketed its competitiveness is the fact that, in 2018, just like Columbia, NYU announced that it would offer free tuition. But the difference? NYU offered it to all current and future MD students regardless of need. That's right, regardless of need, which means no red tape and no extra essays. That's like offering a $200,000 bonus to any student who's accepted. Since implementing this unprecedented tuition-free model, the school's appeal has surged, becoming one of the most competitive medical schools in the country with the highest average MCAT score. After all, what med student couldn't use an extra $200,000? A high MCAT score is absolutely crucial for gaining admission to these elite medical schools, but it's not everything. It's your entire application package that will ultimately determine your success. 
These institutions are looking for future leaders in medicine, students who will push the boundaries of medical knowledge, become department chairs, and win Nobel Prizes. If your heart is set on one of these schools, you must approach every aspect of your application strategically with passion and dedication. That means not just studying for the MCAT, but mastering it. Do some students get accepted with lower MCAT scores? Absolutely. These are only the medians after all. But a killer MCAT score will make your life easier and it will open doors for you. Scoring in the 99th percentile isn't luck, but it's also not about smarts. Anyone with the right study plan and test taking tactics can earn a killer score. Ready to join the ranks of students scoring in the 99th percentile? Download our free test taking tactics cheat sheet, which reveals the exact strategies to help you score in the top 1%. Click right up here for your free copy.